Hey everybody, Craig and Laura here with Z-Line Fitness and today we are going to show you some basic stretches that anyone can do. These are held stretches, so because of that, they are designed to increase range of motion and flexibility and therefore should only be done after a workout or after playing a sport, not before. Okay, first thing we're going to do with this lower body stretch series is stretch the inner thigh or groin muscle. Throughout this series, you're gonna need a stool of some sort or a bench. We're just using a small ottoman here. The higher the stool, the increase of the stretch becomes, the more increase, I should say. Right here with this, we're gonna put the foot out to the side, making sure the foot is in line with the knee. You don't want this turned out, straining the knee. If this already is too much for you, you can reduce the range of motion by bringing the leg forward, creating more of a V. To make this stretch work though, it's all about the hips. The hips have to be forward in this out to the side. If she rotates her hips inward, it reduces the stretch and you don't feel anything. Make sure you have the natural curve in your back and this knee aligns with the foot. If you find the knee falling inward, you may need to decrease your stretch more or you can use your hand to help push against gently to increase that inner thigh stretch. You're gonna hold all these stretches 35 to 45 seconds. You also wanna make sure you do the stretches on both sides. However, in this video, we're only gonna be showing it on one leg. Great, all right, moving on to the next, we are going to do the hamstring stretch. Ha, hamstring stretch, lost that one. All right, good, with the hamstring stretch, same thing. The higher the ottoman, the more, or stool, the more stretch you're going to get. The leg's gonna be right out in front of you. Keeping the natural curve is very important here to get the stretch. It's almost like you're pulling the hip back to make that stretch happen. Now, there's some variations here. One, a flexed foot. You can use this and you'll get the stretch that may go more into your calf or lower part of this hamstring, but you can also just relax the foot. The idea you wanna get it right into the belly of this hamstring, right in the middle underneath there. Additionally, you can bend the knee and this may be great for you too to really feel that stretch in that hamstring. Whatever works best for you, use your own variation to get the best stretch possible. But if you're not feeling much of a stretch here, one of the things you can do, whether it's bent, straight, or flexed, or pointed foot, is increase the stretch by leaning forward. If you bend forward and you keep that natural curve in the low back, keeping the hip pulling back, it'll increase the intensity of your stretch. Now with all these stretches, you wanna to go to where you feel it, but you don't wanna push beyond that to where it starts to hurt. That's not where we're going with this. Also, no pulsing or bouncing. That's not good for the muscles either. Good, come on up. Make sure you do both legs, holding it for 35 to 45 seconds. Now we're gonna move on to the glute muscles and piriformis stretch. We'll use the bench for that. And now you're just gonna sit down on it. When sitting on it, you're gonna cross your leg over like a gentleman would sit. With this, again, if you have a lower stool, it's a greater stretch. So if sitting on the stool and getting your knee across, this is hurts your knee or it's a problem, you may wanna put some pillows underneath your hips to reduce this stretch. When in this position, again, to increase it, you keep the natural curve of your back and you lean forward forward to make the stretch more powerful or more of a stretch. Now this stretches out the glute muscles, your butt muscles if you will, and it also stretches out the piriformis muscle which is underneath the glutes. And that's very important because the piriformis muscle is a muscle that oftentimes goes into spasm and presses down on the sciatic nerve creating sciatica. So this is a great way to release that muscle, excellent. Remember to do both legs, 35 to 45 seconds. Now there is a variation to this, in case that doesn't work so well for you, a lot of my clients love this version of the stretch. You cross the leg over, and you can have both feet, the foot down on the ground. Right here, you may feel a stretch, and you can kind of bring this leg closer to increase the stretch or move it away to decrease the stretch, trying to keep that curvature in your low back. With this, to also increase this, a really fun thing to do is just lean away from that bent knee to increase the pull or the stretch here in the glute. If this isn't doing it for you though, you can always pull the leg towards you, reaching between the legs and grabbing the leg and right there. Work to keep a natural curve in the low back, but if you gently flatten, that's okay too. Pull towards and hold that stretch. Again, if you wanna tweak it a little bit more and increase it, just rock gently to the side and make that stretch increase throughout the glute muscle and piriformis. Excellent, thank you very much. All right, moving on, we have calf stretch. 
you're going to make sure you're lined up. This knee doesn't go over the foot too far here. And she's pressing into the ground, pressing into the heel. Also, she's opening the hips up. If you do this, this, this you'll stretch out here in the hip flexor, which is great too. That's awesome. You get a twofer in this activity. Holding it to 35 to 45 seconds, switching legs. You do both legs. But then there's the second calf stretch we need to do. We bring the leg in closer and we bend the knees and squat down. Now we get into the lower part of the calf muscle, the gastric soleus area. And this is great. So we get both aspects of the calf. Both of these you're gonna do for 35 to 45 seconds and you fully stretch out your calf muscle. All right, doing both legs too. Now the, now the true final stretch. We're gonna hit the quad muscle or your thigh. I want it to be opposite arm, opposite leg. And you may want something to hold on to. There you go. Uh, with this, you don't torque the ligaments of the knee. It actually rotates the femur bone out, and this is great, and takes the stress off your knee. Then if you did it this way, and ended up torquing the inner part of the knee. So opposite arm, opposite leg, pull the knee towards the ground, and lift through the abs to get the most optimal stretch. Holding it there, 35, 45 seconds, both legs, and after that, now you've fully released and relaxed all the muscles in your lower body. We also have an advanced series of these stretches that you can see in our other video. And with this, you can do it on a daily basis. Just remember to do it after your workout or after you've played a sport. Okay, I'm Craig Zuckerman with Lori Clark. We are Z-Line Fitness, helping you feel better, look better, and perform better.